Hey guys, it's Sarah. So today's video is going to be another round of eyeshadow roulette. For some reason, it seems like it's been so long since my last roulette video, but I mean, I guess it's only been a month. I guess May just kind of dragged on. But for May, I did my eyeshadow roulette a little bit differently and decided to only focus on my single eyeshadows. So I ended up picking four single eyeshadows to put into a magnetic quad here. And so I'm just going to give you a recap on these and show you some looks that I created with them throughout the month. And then we will go ahead and pick another set of shades. We'll just go back to the usual way that I do this and pick five shadows from my entire collection, not just from my singles. And then we will create a look using all five of those shadows. I don't have any eye makeup on right now because we're going to do that on camera. So I have to be honest, I'm kind of glad to be moving on from this color palette that we had in May just because I didn't really like this color combo. I feel like the colors just didn't really go super well together. These three sort of look like they go together pretty well and then we got this mustard yellow and it sort of just threw the whole thing off so I really didn't end up doing any looks this month with all four shades I just didn't really feel like they all went together but I did do one with uh, these three with um, Pegasus, La Playa, and Paper Tiger um, I posted that on my Instagram I really didn't like the look I just felt like it was a weird combination of colors. I made it work, but I had Pegasus on the lid, Paper Tiger in like the outer corner in the crease, and then La Playa in the inner corner. Um, it's not a look that I would wear again, but um, I was able to do that. I think that was the only other time I wore Pegasus this month. It's just a very bold shade that I don't really find a use for too much in my everyday life. But um, that is a really pretty color. That's from Makeup Geek. Let's see, I ended up doing another look with La Playa and Paper Tiger. Also wasn't a huge fan of that color combo either. Um, I, feel like La, uh, I feel like Paper Tiger just goes better with kind of more like warm browns and things like that. Um, the rest of these colors being kind of cool, it just, they clashed a little. But. I made that work too and I ended up putting a deeper shade in the outer corner and putting Paper Tiger in the crease, La Playa on the lid, and then I topped that with the Stila Glitter and Glow in Gold Goddess. And that kind of pulled it together, turned it a little bit warm, kind of transformed this green shade into a slightly warmer green. And that ended up being a pretty look. There was another time I used La Playa and I topped it with I think Stila Diamond Dust, which gave it a more like cool kind of iridescent shift that was also really pretty and then Prowlin there was another look I did where that was the only shade I used I put it all over my lid into the crease just kind of covered my entire lid with that and then topped it with diamond dust from Stila I've been trying to use those Stila glitters a lot because I'm trying to use them up um, I may even try to try to use one in today's look so yeah overall this was not my favorite color story that I've had to work with in my eyeshadow roulette series so I'm kind of glad to move on from it but I did end up getting a lot of use out of each of these shades I found myself wanting to use them more on their own rather than all together so it wasn't the most cohesive color palette but that was really fun this month I didn't end up taking progress photos most months I do just to show you what each shadow looked like at the beginning of the month and at the end to show you how much I used of it how much of a dip there is but it's so rare that I actually hit pan on any of my eyeshadow roulette shadows that I just I feel like maybe it's not necessary to take those progress photos let me know if you have a strong feeling either way I just feel like whenever I do put them in the the change is so like minimal and trivial that it almost seems pointless to do them but let me know if you really want me to continue doing those progress photos or if you're fine with me just kind of sharing some looks that I did let me know what you think but those were my May shadows now we're heading into June so I'm excited to pick some new shadows I'm gonna pull up my spreadsheet real quick so I went ahead and pulled up my list of eyeshadows and um, all the shadows that have already been chosen in previous months, including any of these, have been removed from the list. And I've also removed any shadows that are currently in my project pan. Since I'm already focusing on those, I don't want those to be picked uh, for this. So we are left with 150 pans of eyeshadow. I also made sure to add my newest addition to the list, which is all four of these shades from the e.l.f. Rosewater Quad. So I'm going to pull up my Pretty Random app, and we'll go ahead and pick some shadows. So first I got 150, the very last shade on the list, and that is from the e.l.f. Rosewater Quad, which I cannot stop using. It's the fourth shade, which is this deep eggplant shade with some like gold shimmer to it. 
I actually really like that shade, surprisingly enough. It is very pigmented and a little powdery, so it's one of those shadows that I, when I use it, I like barely tap my brush into it so that I don't get too much. Let's pick another. 60. So that is from the e.l.f. Opposite Detract palette, and it's the shade Daring. I can't remember which one that is. Daring is this, ooh, it's this nice kind of shimmery, cool mauve. It's like a taupey mauve. So those go nicely together. All right, next, 84 which is from the Billy Beauty Eyes of India palette. Very glad to have another one picked from here. This is the shade uh, Rani, which is actually that purple shade. And that is probably my least used shade in this palette. I really don't wear like violet-y purples on my eyes that often. So this will be good. This is a shade that actually is meant to be used wet. So I'm not sure how this swatch will end up looking, but I'm sure it'll be a lot more vibrant when I use it wet on my eyes. So yeah, there's that purple shade. So far it's shaping up to be a nice kind of cool toned palette. Next I got 79, which is from ColourPop, and it's the shade Earthshine. It's a single from them. That's another purple shadow. It's funny because in a recent video I was just talking about how purple is my least favorite color to wear on my eyes. Um, Earthshine is this kind of duochrome bluish purple. It's really pretty. It's almost pink. Uh, which actually that is a really pretty shade. I haven't used that a whole lot yet. So that will be it'll be nice to get some use out of that one All right, and finally Got number 20 that is from soft glam and it's the shade burnt orange. So that's definitely gonna be kind of the oddball here uh, I feel like there's always an oddball shade, but that's just uh, this like medium orangey brown so there are all those shades together. I actually think this is a pretty cohesive color story and I like that I'm gonna be challenged to use some purples. Yeah, I, I needed to be pushed out of my comfort zone, so let's do it. So as always, my lids are already primed and let's see. I think this will be a pretty easy color story, especially compared to last month and some of the last few months have been really challenging. So I think I'm gonna start with Burnt Orange from the ABH Soft Glam palette as my crease color just to kind of start things out. Okay, I think I'm gonna lay down Ronnie, which is that purple from the Billy Beauty palette on my lid kind of as a base, and then I'll probably end up layering Earthshine from ColourPop over that since that's kind of like a duochrome topper shade almost. Brought over my setting spray so that I can wet my brush. Just do a little spritz of that. Honestly wondering if I've even used this shade yet. I feel like I haven't. Or if I have, it was a long time ago. Just bringing that all across my lid. Not the most blended, because I literally just kind of like laid it down, but we will work on the blending. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and, so Nat, get out of here, man. Um, I'm gonna try to blend that just a, a little bit here, but we're gonna be putting more shadows down, so probably need to blend some more in a minute. I do like that, um, the warm transition shade with the purple. Normally I probably would have thought to do a cool toned transition color, but I actually feel like that makes it look a little bit less like like I have a black eye. I feel like there's always a risk of that when I use cool tone shadows, especially like deep purples and things, is that I can end up looking like I have a black eye. But I think that the, the warm shade like peeking up above it helps. I want to go ahead and deepen up my outer corner with that dark eggplant shade from the e.l.f. Rosewater Quad. Just using the e.l.f. crease brush here. And I'm, I just tapped my brush in there like one time because it is so, so pigmented. Okay, so very dark and smoky. But now I'm gonna layer Earthshine on at least like the inner half of my lid 
I think this will be really pretty. Actually, I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this. I think that'll work the best. I think I'll go ahead and dip into Daring now from the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. That's the only shade I haven't used so far. And maybe layer that on the outer half of my lid. I don't know, we're layering a whole bunch of shadows on my lids today. I'll probably also use this as my liner. Right, I'm gonna take more, a little more earth shine and just kind of redefine that on the lid. It's interesting how that shade almost gives it like a blue reflect when it's layered over that deeper purple. It's not nearly as pink looking on my eyes as it is in the pan. Alright, I'm gonna blend some more. Alright, I, I am having some fallout here, so I'm just gonna dust it away. I'm gonna finish off with a little more of Daring from the Elf Opposites Attract palette on my lower lash line. Alright, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with just a face powder. Okay, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm actually about to top it with another shadow. Uh, I'm gonna use my Stila Glitter in Diamond Dust because I'm about to film a Project Pan update right after this, and I really want to have this done for my update. So I think I have like one use left in here. And so I feel like I feel like this will kind of lighten it up a little bit. And yeah, we'll just I'm just gonna go for it. It's kind of like a iridescent silvery sparkle. Alright, I think I have successfully scraped everything out of there that I possibly can. <laughs> so, success. That is actually so pretty. I'm, I, I think I like that added touch of the glitter just because it does brighten it up a little bit. It was looking a little heavy and dark on my eyes, a little darker than I normally like, but now it almost looks like, like a galaxy or something. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to apply some do we need eyeliner here? I think I'm gonna skip like black liner or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on and we will pick out a lip. So mascara is on, I used my Flower Lash Warrior and I have a few lip options. I think I wanna go kind of nude or like a cool pinky color. So I have my Jordana Sweet Cream in Buttercream Frosting. I think that would be really pretty, especially topped with um, a gloss. I also brought over my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Pink Cosmo. It's like a baby pink. I think that might be what I end up doing. I also brought a deeper pink. This is the Ofra Liquid Lip in Laguna Beach. That would also be really pretty. And then also my Project Pan lipstick, which is the Wet n Wild one in Never Nude. I've worn this one a lot this month, so I think I want to use something else just so that I get use out of the rest of my collection. Um, I think I'm going to go for the light nude pink. So that is my finished look using all of my June eyeshadow roulette colors. I'm really happy with this color palette. I think it's going to push me outside of my comfort zone with those purples. And I, overall, I feel like this is a very cohesive color story. There's a lot I can do with all five of these shades together. I'm sure I'll also use them separately a lot this month. but. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using these. You'll definitely see these on my eyes a lot throughout the month. I forgot to say at the beginning, but this was inspired by the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan that was started by Alexandra Shostin. So I um, always want to give credit where credit is due. I'll have her linked down below. I do it a little differently. I'm not really focused on panning the eyeshadows. Um, I just like to have a fresh set of like totally random eyeshadows to work with each month. It helps me experiment with new color combos and things like that. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, I'd love to see you again very soon and I will talk to you next time.